Hey guys, it is Tanya with Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to another video, a live video. Yay! So today I thought it would be fun if I showed you guys um, a little jewelry haul that I got this morning at a garage sale. And um, I spent a dollar fifty hey for everything. Today uh oh, hang on. Solve the Oopsie. Problem that my okay, sorry about that. So I want to say hi in the chat. Hi, Susan. Hey, Lonnie. Hi, Linda. I'm glad you guys joined me. So, um, yeah, so I picked up this coffee mug and um, I had some jewelry inside of it. Um, but when I first got to the garage sale, um, I walked up and I didn't see any jewelry out. So I asked if they had any and um, she said she didn't. And so I went ahead and kept shopping. And then I, um, I was shopping and she walked up to me and said she found some. So I was happy. And I went over there and I looked through it and I did find some stuff. So I went to check out and I had my little mug here and it was about halfway full of jewelry. And she said, um, how about a dollar for everything? And I said, okay. <laughs> so then I was leaving and I um, found some more, more jewelry on my way out. And um, she only charged me 50 cents. So I had a whole, whole cup full here. Um, so, okay, let's get started. And I've got an audience over there. My daughter is over there watching me. <laughs> That's not weird at all with her new little uh, doll, Madison. That baby alive doll she had to go get last night. Hi, Jackie. Okay, so the first thing are these vintage little clip earrings. Now, these are not marked in any way, so I'm probably just going to put these in my antique booth probably for about $10. Hey, Dwayne. Okay, and then I got, and a lot of these pieces aren't marked, so um, a lot of the ones that are not marked are probably just going to go to my antique booth. And here is a real pretty pearl bracelet with some, um, a little rhinestone flower there. Hi, Paula. Hi, TX Ayla one She is in Duncanville. So yeah, I will probably put about, I don't know, six to eight dollars on these for the booth. And then here is another one. They're real pretty. They're like statement bracelets. Fireball, right, Lonnie? <laughs> Dwayne's new nickname is Fireball. And if you don't know why, you need to go watch. Oh gosh, was it on the reseller six pack or was it on Chris's show? I can't remember, but it happened last week. <laughs> so funny. Hi, Trisha. Hi, Trisha in Arizona. And here's another one. So these are real pretty, but yeah, none of them are marked or anything. So, oh, and I got this one too, but I'm going to keep this one for me. I thought it was really unique. And I think these are made like in um, third world countries because um, my sister-in-law actually got me a, what was it? I think it's a another kind of bracelet similar to this, and it's made with this this kind of material. So um, yeah, I'll probably keep that one for me. I like it, it's multicolored, goes with everything. Um, and then I got this little bracelet. Whenever I picked it up, I was really hoping that it would be gold. Like I said, I didn't get out any of my tools because everything was so cheap. But um, yeah, after I got home, as you can see, it's very magnetic and it's not even signed or anything. So um, I'll probably, uh, again, probably just put that in the booth. And then now here are the earrings I got. These are really unique. They're clip earrings and they're like um, Indian head dangle earrings. And then that's what the back looks like. And they, like I said, they are not marked. They look like they could have had a spot to be marked like right there, but it, it doesn't say anything. So. Again, probably antique booth. I should have titled this video Jewelry Haul for the Antique Booth. Um, and then I got these little bitty turquoise um, with gold clip earrings. Oh, Dwayne says the uh, fire Fireball episode was on um, Chris, the Walking Pickers channel <laughs> last uh, Sunday. So if you guys want to see Dwayne, like guzzle a quarter bottle of fireball <laughs> that's where you'll need to go to see it okay um and here are some vintage little uh screwback pearl earrings 
not marked, but I will put these on a, um, a jewelry card and I have them over here. I wanted to show you guys. So, um, I just order these in bulk. Oopsie. I dropped one and I put them on these little earring cards here and then they will, um, just go to my antique booth. So, and I've been having second thoughts about my um, jewelry tree spinner thing because it takes up a lot of space. And I've been trying to think of other ways to, um, to display my jewelry without having to use that big earring uh, carousel thing. So if you guys know of any other ways to display, I would love to hear. Um, are you guys still there? I don't see anybody in the chat. Hi, Erie. Um, Okay, I hope y'all are still there. <laughs> so, um, and then I got some stud earrings. These are really, really pretty. Even though I'm a gold girl, I'll probably keep these for me. Um, but they're just, they're inlaid in silver. Okay, Dwayne, good. <laughs> okay, good. Thanks, Dwayne and Lonnie. Okay, thanks, guys. So now these are marked uh, 925 sterling silver. Hi, PJ Miller. And these are really pretty. They almost kind of like have an iridescent look to them whenever you wear them. Um, probably totally going to keep these for me, but they're not marked in any way. Okay, good. I'm glad everybody's still here. Yay. Okay, Lonnie says he's cutting grass and listening. Got to beat the rain. <laughs> Lonnie's always cutting grass. I think he has a he has a big piece of land I think he has to uh, mow all that grass. <laughs> okay, and then I got a bunch of rings. Now, this one's real pretty. And, and it looks like it could be sterling silver. It is not magnetic. Um, so, but it's also not marked. So I was really surprised, but it's really pretty. Little pink ring. And it's small too. It's like a, it's about a size six. So um, I don't know what I'll do with this one yet. Maybe go to the booth. We'll have to see. That'd be kind of tricky though, right? Because I might worry about somebody stealing that. Um, TX, TX Ayla is making banana bread and listening. Yummy. Hey, John, Cincinnati picker. Okay. Oh my God. That is so creepy. Madeline's watching me with her doll sitting next to her. <laughs> okay. So, and I got a bunch of, and I believe these are all sterling silver. They're not marked. This one's huge. It's like a size 10. I'm thinking it's a men's ring. Um, John is asking if I have a lot of problems with theft at my antique booth. You know, not really that I've noticed a whole lot. Um, a lot of times people will pick things up and um, they'll set it down in another booth. And then um, the, the mall has a place like a catch-all for things that um, people have brought up that weren't in the right booth. And sometimes you might just want to check, and I, I might check that. And... Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I go into it knowing that there's a chance people could possibly steal things. And, you know, my my thinking on that is that's between them and the man upstairs, right? I mean, if they have to have it that bad and they have to steal it, you know, whatever. <laughs> but I still have um, several rings sitting in my antique booth that haven't sold in like six months and they're still sitting there. So maybe not. Um, <clears throat> Oh, John says theft in Cincinnati antique booths is rampant. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think we have too much of a problem where I'm at. And if they have taken something, I probably haven't even noticed. Um, Dwayne says, love you, Tanya, out for sourcing. Okay, does that mean you're leaving? Bye, Dwayne. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, this ring is only marked AD. So I don't see any sterling marks on it. So I'm thinking maybe it is. Um, what do they call it? That kind of jewelry that's designed by, um, you know, what do they call it? Navajo Indians. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I'm drawing a blank. And here's another one. I love this one. This is really big too. Let me see what size this one is. This one is about a size nine. What are you, what are you saying? So this one is marked, oh my goodness. I'm not even seeing anything on this one. But yeah, I think it's uh, sterling and I'll definitely be testing that one. Is this like painfully boring for you guys? 
Um, if you guys have any questions, I'm here. Let's see. John says his wife went picking with me today. I'll post it later. Oh, okay, cool. I wish Kurt would go with me sometimes. Sometimes he goes to um, Goodwill with me and he's like, it stinks in here. <laughs> Madeline's laughing at me, but yeah, my kids are the same way. They don't, they don't like to go thrifting. And then here's another one. This one's real pretty. It's like the um, fish Christian symbol. And this one, let me see if this one's marked. I cannot remember you guys. Uh, yep, this one's marked uh, 925 and it says uh, SB. SB on it. This one's about a size 8 looks to be. I might just sell these in a lot. John says, uh, Kurt is right. Goodwill is basically a big pile of smelly trash. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. I'm used to it. It doesn't even bother me. But, like, sometimes Kurt will come home and he'll be like, oh, my God, what's going on? Our house smells like Goodwill. <laughs> but maybe that means I'm buying too much. I don't know. Hey, Chris, the walking picker. Lonnie, you better be careful. You better not be uh, mowing and texting. That's dangerous. <laughs> So here's another one. This one has got, oh, I forget what you call these things. I used to know. I just sold a pair of earrings recently with these characters on there. But I cannot think of the name, what they're called. What? Huh? Sissy, quit talking to mommy. All right, let me see if this one's marked. And... I am not, wait, oh yeah, here's something. This one says Sterling, and it looks like it has some initials on it, but the little copyright symbol too. So, that is that, and I have one more ring. Let me show it to you on here. This one is about a size um, seven and a half, Hierog hieroglyphics, yes, Jackie, that's what it is. Thank you. And this one's just a little, um, little like a um, strand of hearts there. <laughs> Lonnie says he's so sick he doesn't even stop YouTube for even for cutting grass. What, what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> I know. I am on YouTube way too much. I mean, my husband, he's getting so sick of it. <laughs> So I, you know what you need to do to remedy that, Lonnie, is you just need to include your wife. Like I'll tell Kurt, come watch this show with me. You know, that's a way to get around it. So this one is marked 925 also, and it has some initials. Did I already put it on here? I can't remember. Oh, I did, didn't I? Yeah. So that one's that. All of this for $1.50, you guys. That's a pretty good deal, right? Okay, just a couple more items. Um, I got this necklace here. And um, this one is marked Sterling. And it has, um, Tanya, John says Tanya's right as usual. <laughs> I'll take it. And it has this um, little hallmark here on it, but I do not recognize that hallmark. Um, I feel like I have it sideways. But if you guys recognize it, maybe you could let me know what it is. I'm, I'm not sure what it is, but it, like I said, it is marked um, sterling silver. Okay, honey, you're going to have to stop talking to me. It's summer, and the kids are home. Yay! <laughs> so here's another one I got. Now, this one isn't marked anything, but I, I think it might be sterling. It's real pretty. It's like a... A um, what do you, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, look, it looks like the fish Christian symbol too. Um, like a 3D type cross cross pendant there. So that's pretty. And then the last one I got is um, pink Victoria's Secret. Wait, let me show you. Oopsie. And there it is, the little dog with a peace symbol. And a um, a little heart. It's a really it's a really long necklace. And then, of course, it's let me show you. It 
is marked pink right there and then it says a uh, Victoria's Secret right under there so and I looked online for this one and I'm surprised I was surprised they're not really going for that much I think I saw one that sold for eleven fifty. so um, that's it <laughs> that's my little haul you guys for a dollar fifty hi Megan um, Megan says that cross is so pretty I'd love to have something like that a dollar fifty you scored well Megan if you want that necklace um, feel free to message me and we can work something out <laughs> hey Karen Karen asked do you have a video on how to photograph jewelry for eBay oh gosh I don't know if I don't maybe I should make one thanks for the idea um, isn't that awful? I can't even remember if I have a video on how to photograph. I know I have a video. I made one recently on how I organize it. Um, Vintage Christel says, Christian Fish is called, oh, I, I do not know how to pronounce that. Exthus. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, and Susan in SoCal says, awesome haul. Thanks, you guys. All right, so um, I just want to remind everybody that tomorrow evening I will be hosting the Traveling Reseller Six Pack Show here on my channel at 7 p.m. And our top topic is going to be customer loyalty. What do you do to create it? So um, I hope that all of you guys will join us, and I look forward to seeing you guys there. Um, Okay, so I hope everybody enjoys their Saturday. Have fun. Go out and do something fun. And I guess we will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. Lonnie, you're so funny. Oh, about the thing. Oh, okay. Okay, well, let me warn you real quick. There is a chance that... Chad, Golden Finger Picker, is going to be wearing a highly inappropriate shirt, okay? And if he does, I'm going to turn his camera off. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, hopefully, he will realize, you know, my channel is like 75% female audience, and I hope that he doesn't wear that shirt. I don't want anyone to be offended. I mean, for goodness sakes, my grandma could be watching the video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't make my grandma mad, Chad. Come on. All right, guys, um, that's it. I hope, hope you guys tune in tomorrow night at 7 p.m. for the reseller six-pack. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Have a good day.